Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today it's a tip video with Love of Leaves. I'm gonna have a few video with that, so this one it's really tips, and I'm gonna share also this card at the same time. So you see, I've been playing with this bundle. It's just an amazing bundle, especially when you love fall like me. But even if I say fall, see, I went in different color. If you see, I even emboss. This is a video coming up. I think I'm going to shoot that live. Here we go. So let's get started. And because it's a photopolymer, I um, really strongly recommend the piercing mat, the foam mat, so you get a better imprint. So the leaves are distinct. So you see kind of a discoloration so when you stamp with them it is normal the stamp it's designed that way that it's not a uniform uh, ink on it you know it's not all smooth color because like fall you get the different tone in the leaves so you can see right on your case all the different colors there so also, now let me bring the framelits. So with, uh, I'm so used to say framelits, the dies, you get the outline. So the outline, <clears throat> I had my little cheat sheet here that I, not cheat sheet, but my little piece of, uh, well, you're going to see in a minute that you get the outline that it's going to do the stitch and then you get the inside that emboss like the vein of the uh, leaves and then if you see this big piece the stitch that's what I done at the bottom here so we're going to do it inside of this card so you can see how that all work oh here it is so you see here the outline it's all the stitch so really you can just die cut or you can emboss with it whatever you prefer or the stitch dies so many many option with this die we're going to go ahead i got a piece of scrap white here and we're going to do three color uh, three leaves and again i'm doing it in the blue so we're going to repeat kind of this one because i want to share out to do the stitch in the back here so I'm going to share all the basic or the tips on this bundle. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the big leaf. I'm using a few different ones from that one. And each leaf represents a country that I heard. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to have to go sideways a bit. And pretty peacock, the big leaf. Voila. And yes. You can see very lovely the discoloration, and that is normal. The stamp, it's built that way. Now, the next one, I'm going to do Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to put this long one here. I want to give a space because I want to do, oh, I went kind of close. I think it's good. And then the next one we're going to do in Smoky Slate. So I'm keeping in the same tone of my uh, card stock there. And I'm going to put this one right here. So you see now we get our three leaves. Now we're going to cut that all at the same time. Not only cut, but we're going to emboss, I call that the vein. Uh, we're going to do the stitch at the same time. That's what look like the vein of the leaves, okay? So let me uh, bring my cutting machine here. And I lift my camera before going up. Let's hope that I get enough space here. Oh, I think so. So uh, for the dies, you're going to need your platform, your regular platform that is number one. And then you're going to need the number two. That's what I love about this. Everything it's written down. And then you're going to need a clear plate that is number three. Now we're going to place this here. If I would have the magnet um, plate, I would put it. This video is shot before it was available. So 
I would put the magnet uh, platform there so <clears throat> instead of the white uh, the clear the number three that way it would stay all together very lovely but here so the stitch side gonna go down so I'm gonna put this down there now the center you have to be very careful that you don't overlap the metal because if you overlap the metal then you're uh, you're going to bend your dies okay absolutely so you have to be very very gentle or paying attention that you don't overlap your dies now we're going to do the long skinny one okay another thing that i want to point out and you see the hole in the like the stem there that is that you can match that with where that you uh, stamp so if you notice to make sure that you're straight you get that hole there that it's going to show you if you're right in the stem all of the leaf get that little hole there so you can see if you're cutting in the stem or not so like I said, this would be a little bit more uh, friendlier with um, the magnet uh, platform there. But we still can do it, no problem. And now, this one here, I'm missing one. I don't know where I put it, but I find I will find it. This one, you get one leaf that point that way, and then the other one point the other way. Now I'm looking for my leaf. Hmm. I'm going to have to look deep for that. I don't know where it would have fell. Maybe in here? Okay, well, it is another leaf that uh, go the other direction. You see, I got the inside here. I don't know where it fell. So you have to pay attention to make sure you use the correct one. So you can have one leaf turn one way, one leaf turn the other way. Okay, let me, the camera, it's in my head or in my face. So, let's put that all there. And now we're going to put our plate at the top. So let's bring the, the other clear plate. And when you put it on, I go from the back, slide it so it stays straight. And let's roll this. And I can see right now, like I said, um, of what it's called, um, the magnetic platform would help uh, quite a bit. Let me um, do a little something something here so it won't move on me. So I'm using repositionable tape here just to make sure this is not moving. So this would not, you wouldn't have to do this if you're using the magnet platform and then we're going to put this one so then i know that i will be straight in and i won't have to worry about it here we go now i like to place my plate going under and put it down so nothing is moving then we're going to roll on So now I can cut all of them at once. So we're going to leave this aside, but we need the big one here. We're going to leave that aside and see all those sleeves. You get the stitch in it and everything. Now let's bring the front of the card that I want to do, cut part of it. So what I'm going to do is put those whoops sorry put this one here and we're just going to cut the outline of it that's it that's what i need for my card we're just going to cut so this time we're not putting the center see you can cut just the outline of the leaf you don't have to have the emboss every time or the, the stitch so now i got this one i can use in another project now to put the vein or just the, um, the stitch inside, I'm placing, this is the designer series paper that come in those, uh, all the colors. I'm placing that in. And now to guide where 
my paper going to go when I build my card. Let's put that here. I'm going to put that right here. And again, the magnet platform would come in handy. You can do it without, I show you, but it, it's come very handy. Now what we done, we just emboss the center of the card. See? Boom. Or not emboss, but did the stitch. Okay, now we're done with the machine. Let's remove this. And now we're going to build a card and I'm going to share you a bit of tips along the way. Let me... Uh, this is repositionable tape. If you're wondering what it's repos repositionable tape. Now what I done on this one, I put dimensional in the back of my paper. But first, I'm going to use a two-way tape, uh, the tear and tape, and I'm going to use a piece of the Pretty Peacock, the ribbon. I just went and snipped a piece. Maybe it's too long. It's rare that I go too uh, short. Uh, it seemed that I put quite a bit more than I should. Sorry, the battery went dead on me. So now I got the uh, tear and tape that I got here. So we're going to remove the let me tear this up here here we go what's going to do i'm going to remove the i call it the backing but really it's not the back it's the front now right here we go i like to put my uh, ribbon right at the top and the reason why i don't tuck it under like another ribbon it's because these are very thick so I just put on the card and then go on the side and it's better if you go always in the back so you can follow the line of your paper and cut it straight. Boom. Now we're going to put that on our uh, card base. It is four and a quarter by 11 score at five and a half. All the measurement will be on my blog. All of it. So you can click below and you're going to have um, the direct link to go to my blog and you're going to have not only all the measurement but also all the supplies that I use to make this car. Now we're going to put this layer right here and then we're going to go ahead and put dimensional in the back of this. So we're going to put dimensional, oh that, that side would have been pretty too, but I cannot flip it because it won't, oh yeah, it won't match, see? So you have to decide which side you want the front. I think the polka dot would have been cute too. So even if it's leaves, you can use that ear round. Um, it's just, for me, leaves are a flower. <laughs> I really love leaves, so... So now let's remove, okay, let me take this here. Okay, if you do this with your scissors, do it at your own risk. So you don't um, cut yourself, but it worked amazingly to remove this. Also, your pick tool do a lovely job with that. Now, see, we're going to put our um, paper, our layer right here. And now we can see through all those uh, stitch. Here we go. Now we're going to take our, <clears throat> and what I done, I build my three leaves together first. So I use glue dots for that. And then we're going to mount it on our card. So the long one, I like to have it on the left here. I'm going to put that right there. And then the smaller one, on the right mm. here we go and now we're going to glue that right over here I'm decide about where I want it so that look good so I'm going to use a few glue dots right here one and two and then someplace we will do some uh, we're going to put dimensional just to balance that better. So I'm going to lift this up 
and I want I don't want to put dimensional all in the back of the leaves because what's going to happen it's going to raise it more and this one need one also and then you can add more glue dots if you want but I think that's going to be plenty good here we go I can add a glue dot here and here so when I had glue dot I use my uh, snips here and I just lift I give them a little uh, tuck operation there and lift see boom and I have pre-done my um, with circle that's the pretty peacock that's three quarter and then one inch you can do that with punch if you got it or the circle uh, die see how pretty that is now I forgot I wanted to show you the inside how to do the stitch like I told you for this one I want to share pretty much everything about uh, these die you see on the copper and the the foil paper how pretty that is it's gorgeous so now I'm going to share with you how to do this so let me bring this quickly back here so it's the same thing it's just like a die but it don't cut well it kind of cut because it do the stitch so you can put it at the bottom if you want we're going to do it at the bottom or you can put it on the side I did some on the side whatever you want I like so if I do it on the long way there I would put it this way I like to have my die going not the short way the long way I feel it go better for the stitch so this one I would put it there just decide where you want to put it that's pretty good right there and then put your other plate see how I put my plate I go from the top down and then so that way it don't move my uh, die and we're gonna do this and now we got see all those pretty uh, I think you can see all those stitch so that's how it worked and also I could have done a C cut a square see all the beautiful stitch like on the paper I do have the stitch on the outside the designer series paper but we don't see it as pronounced as a card stock you can see here so that's the tip for the leaves so again remember it's stamped correctly it's just the way that the stamp is you get the two tones or a few tones that is it for today my friend till next time happy stamping